previously on Test the Fool. Fuck off, you fucking bitch! I'll take you and your grandma's ashes! Come here, boy! And Pablo will go, ah! Shortly after Pablo left, I entered my junior year of high school, all alone, without a friend. Until I met Max. Max was a man of few words, but his facial expressions made up for it. Just by looking at him, you could tell he had a plan to change the world. We slowly started planning our revolution. You see, Max's plan was to overthrow the government. There was only one person he trusted to run our nation. Himself. And I was going to be his right hand. It started out small. We would meet up after school at the local orphanage and teach the orphans to FIGHT THE RICH! KILL THE RICH! FIGHT THE RICH! KILL THE RICH! Once the orphans were on our side, we had rallies. Government. Bad. There were some people who didn't agree with us, and it was my job to take care of them. You see, I would take a crazy straw and give them a lobotomy. Boom. Instant vegetable. Fast forward a bit, and the day before we go to the White House, wake up Joe Biden from his nap, and tear the walls down, Max gives me a look. It was a sinister look. All he said was, Ruby. I immediately knew what he meant, so I yeeted that bitch into a volcano. I couldn't have her getting in the way of our plans. The next day, we squat up and marched to the White House. Well, turns out, Ruby had already snitched. The army was waiting for us. Max looked at me sadly and handed me a note. It said, One of us has to survive this. I looked at my dear friend with tears in my eyes. He gave me a reassuring nod, and I made my escape. It's been a year since then. Max was arrested and sentenced to death by firing squad. He was executed today. I sought refuge with a certain musical group known as the Wiggles. Together, we will take over the world with the power of music. Man, I just hope I don't get diddled by Henry the Octopus.